Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the brand new Peugeot 508 2024 version and this is the sedan limousine salon version. I have to tell you I'm in love with the exterior design of the car. It looks really nice. The shape, the lines, the aerodynamic, the rims, everything. The headlights, the tail lights of the car look super, super nice from my point of view. And in this video, we will make the full review, interior, exterior, technical data. And I try to give you as many details as I can. I have the car inside a showroom because I wasn't able to take it outside on the road. But as soon as I get it on the road, I will have a proper test drive. So stay close if you want to see it also on the road. From my point of view, it's a lovely sedan car if you are on the market for a sedan a beautiful sedan i think this 508 it's one of that car that you should take into consideration also as an extra information it's based on the same platform as ds9 so you can expect kind of the same same good chassis and quality and good driving feeling i want to give you some technical data and some information about the car and then we will start the review first of all if you are in romania if you are in bucharest you can check out neo motors i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice they have all the newest peugeot cars not only these 508 so definitely check them out link in the description and also on the screen when it comes to to price i want to tell you the version and the technical data and then i will give you also the price so the version that i have with me is the plug-in hybrid version and it is the gt version plug-in hybrid that means it comes with a power of 225 horsepower the price of the car that i have with me here it will go up to 56,686 euro with all those optionals here included the optional price it's 4,486 six euro and i will tell you really fast so first of all you have the trunk you can open the trunk automatically with your leg that means you have to pay 464 extra for this option if you want to have the 7.4 kilowatt hour charger for the plug-in hybrid battery then you have also the panoramic glass roof up here i will show you a little bit later 897 euro you have to pay extra and then high five focal premium sound system 758 euro extra then you have also here included the 19 inch wheels and you have these adaptive suspensions with three modes of driving mode normal comfort and sport mode those we will try when we do the test drive uh, for now we just talk about them and then for the color for this gray metallic color they call it titan you have to pay extra 541 euro so the final price here at neo motors 56,686 euro the car start at a price of 41,933 euro if you're wondering at what uh, price it will start the car now i want to give you a little bit more details about the car and then we will start the review as i said before it's a plug-in hybrid and it comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line combined with one electric motor that drive the front wheel of the car so both the thermal engine and the electric motor will drive front wheel of the car with the possibility to drive in only electric mode in mixed mode or only on petrol it, this is normal for all the plug-in hybrid cars the power of the car 225 horsepower 360 newton meter this is the maximum power and it's connected to an eight speed automatic transmission ee88 the top speed of the car 240 km per hour 0 to 107.9 seconds and the range in electric mode only in electric mode it's around 64 km vltp the co2 emission 31 grams co2 and the consumption around 1.4 liter this is the estimated combined consumption very important to point out is the battery capacity of the plug-in hybrid system it's a 12.4 kilowatt hour lithium battery and it's located under the floor under the rear seats and the range as i said before it's 64 kilometer vltp also the top speed of the car 135 kilometer per hour the electric motor power 110 horsepower and the engine thermal engine power it's 180 horsepower and together produce 225 as i said before the trunk space 487 liters and if you fall down the seats completely you will go up to 1537 liters you can pull a trailer with brakes 
up to 1320 kilograms also the turning circle of the car 10.8 meters the car come with independent mcpherson suspension with coil spring and anti-roll bar on the front and on the rear independent multi-link spring suspension with stabilizer ventilated brake discs on the front ventilated brake discs on the rear and 19 inch wheels those are the most important technical data and information about the car now guys i want to take you out to make a review exterior interior and in the end as always we will make the conclusion so let's do it this is the key kind of the same key as peugeot use it also on other models quite nice simple what you can do with the key is just lock the car and unlock the car even though the car come with keyless entry so you don't even need the key also it comes with electric folding mirrors this is also very useful and uh, great stuff and also you have this button for the trunk that means if you press it for a while doesn't work strange usually it should work and also you have kind of a heating in this area anyway this is the button here come on I think it's a sensor there that doesn't allow it to open. Probably have to unlock the car. Right now it should work. Come on, press the button. Yeah, now it's work. I don't know. It doesn't want to work with the key, but usually it should work. Ah, probably because it's locked. It was that button pressed. Let's try again. Right now, if you press it come on doesn't work not sure why but anyway this is what you can do with the key i want to turn on the lights and then we will talk a little bit about the exterior design all right so now i just turn on the engine for a bit because the lights doesn't work without the engine so i try to not kill the 12 volt battery so in order to work i will have to leave it on for a while but let's talk a little bit about the exterior design first of all i have to say that i'm super impressed with the exterior design of the car i love every single line of the car i love the way it looks not only this one but uh, peugeot as you see here in the last years have made such a beautiful cars with beautiful lines and also this sedan limousine version it's no doubt one of the the beautiful car that you can get on the market and we will talk a little bit about the changes that they bring to the car and i try to even though i have such a tight space here i try to give you as many detail and information as possible about the car and i try to show you in detail this is the new trend in the last years we have this piano black around the edges of the windows and even here on the down part it's a little bit bigger the the black that they add in this area and it looks really nice even the transition here on the b pillar it's also in piano black even this rubber that they add around the windows it feels much much better quality than you saw in other cars for example if i compare it with my tesla model 3 or tesla model y you can see i can definitely see that this this rubber here is much better quality and i think that why inside the sound insulation it's much much better and you can feel that when you drive on the highway at high speed and not only that the sound insulation inside this peugeot uh, it's much much better and i like that and you can see how much rubber and how much uh, work they put in every single detail and even here in these areas i don't want to talk about those things but you can definitely see that the quality is much better here we have the hybrid on both sides this time writing a very nice leather there a three-dimensional leather then here on the left side on the on the driver's side you have the charging port as you saw before 7.4 kilowatt hour you can charge the battery here and on the right side we have the the gas here you have to open it from inside but on the both sides you can see it's the same hybrid writing here very nice design tinted windows on the side tinted windows on the rear here no antenna on the roof of the car and here we have the glass roof with some piano black in this area and there in the middle you have some cameras and sensors for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist all that safety features plus the sensors for raining and light you can see they continuing with this glossy piano black even on the legs of the mirror the mirrors are also in black with turning signals led light and down here you can see on this model we don't have any 360 degrees camera but you have an led down there to illuminate the floor 
plus the mirror is pretty big good visibility in the corner you have the blind spot technology the handles are quite simple nothing changed here on the handles and also when you close the door you can hear the quality quality of the door it's quite quite good and i like it now if we go in the back slicking simple back and also even here you don't have any spoiler everything is uh, straight and simple but you have some interesting lines here close to the trunk then what they change and i like very much is the piano black in this area with peugeot writing then you have the turning signal following turning signals and the tail lights look wonderful i mean if you look from this angle you can see it's a three-dimensional light in the back here in the same style like peugeot uses in the last years and they look super super cool i don't know about you but i love the way they look i don't have a good position here to show you that but um, i love them i mean they look really cool now if we go a little bit lower we have led lights on the number plate reverse camera right here and then this is the fog lamp and the fog lamp and reverse light they are not led those are normal halogen lights so this is a little bit disappointed i mean you have such a beautiful light up there and then you have down here the fog lamp and the reverse light mm, so so and then i like very much how they designed this air diffuser in black down here uh, look gorgeous and the exhaust pipes we have real exhaust pipes and i wonder what happened with peugeot because everybody want to hide those exhaust pipes on this version they bring it back and they are on both sides and they look quite quite nice what do you think about that they look really cool really interesting i wonder why they bring it here on a plug-in hybrid car that looks like a, like a normal thermal engine car you can see on the other version they kind of hide it but here 2024 exhaust pipes this is a new trend what do you think about that guys it looks nice i mean it looks super sporty super cool by the way six sensors on the rear then we go to the rims as i said before 19 inch rims lovely rims by the way on this new version it comes with some new rims so you have to choose from uh, this time much more beautiful and peugeot in the last years make wonderful wonderful rims and no wonder with the new logo with the new design here it looks super cool i really love those rims then you have the brake discs on the rear and the ventilated brake discs on the front other than that pretty simple brake calipers if you look at it from this angle look at the down part look at the bumper on the down part look how aggressive it is these areas here they are super aggressive i love it and then you have 508 here is the grill super nice integrated with the headlamps and with this new logo Behind this new logo is the rudder for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, all that safety features. A little bit higher, you have the front camera. And here you have also a camera that read in the nighttime. So is that rudder in the nighttime. Super nice grill, very nice integration. And also those are the new uh, Matrix LED lights. Those are the low beam and here is the high beam. And they are super, super useful in the nighttime. They are super visible. It's a bright, nice light. Then here on the side, you have this free claw that looks super nice and they are kind of a three dimensional shape i think you can see it in comparison with my fingers they look really really cool love it i mean i love the lights and also down here pretty simple the same same color as the car and then you have some piano black and some matte black in this area air intakes air intakes ah by the way he's not here the rudder the rudder is moved down here now i saw it here is the rudder by my mistake guys here is the rudder here is just it's just the logo it's nothing behind here so they moved the rudder down there pretty cool and then inside you can see some pedals that are closing and open to leave the air go inside there to cool down different parts so in general i think i show you almost everything so what do you think about the design guys do you like it more than the previous version let's go inside frameless windows by the way no double glass but even so without double glass the sound insulation inside the car is pretty good now i want to open the hood and i want to show you i want to turn off the lights turning signals and also those one. Oh, by the way let me show you this is the low bin and the high bin see this is the high bin too bad i cannot show you in the front there uh, because right there you have this car so 
uh, will be nice when I get the car to show you that as well. Let me show you what it's under the hood. From here, you can pretty simple open it in this area in the left side. And we have an automatic lift gate on the hood. And you have also this insulation that I saw it right now. It's something new. And this is great because we'll insulate the sound from the engine to the exterior, from the engine to the interior of the car. And that's also super useful. Then you have the engine with all that electric system and uh, hybrid and here is the, the, the fuse box, the 12 volt battery. And then you have the liquid here for the wipers, the liquid cooling and that's relatively fine, relatively silent the engine. Let me close this hood. Yeah, let me stop the engine for a while because we are inside and then it's not so fun to have all that gases inside here. If you want to open the trunk, you have a button right here, just like that, simple. The great part is that even though it's a saloon design or some kind of a coupe, the great part is that you have a hatchback here and you can fit in here so many items. So you don't have to uh, worry about the entrance in the trunk. Uh, because you have plenty, plenty of space. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I was kind of wrong. Um, I forget that it has this hatchback entrance. I was, I was thinking about that small entrance, but check this out. You have plenty, plenty of space here. Even if you want to carry long items, uh, you can do it without any problem. Now up here, you have the button to close the trunk and then this button, it's for open the trunk, opening the trunk with your legs so you can hit it around here and in this order to open the trunk. I also take out that protection for the trunk. It has a small protection there. I put it right there because in this way you can see a little bit better how much space you have in the trunk. Some plastic at the entrance, like maybe 10 centimeters. Uh, deepness here, the quality is also good on the both sides. This is the focal speaker. So you have a speaker here, some hooks in every corner. And under the floor you have some space, small space for the cable. Uh, and you probably wonder why it's so small space because under here you have all that battery and tank and all that stuff going on. So they kind of need space. Here on the left side you have also this 12 volt port. If you want to fold down the seat you have to go here and then you just do it like that it's quite simple just have to press it it's a little bit farther away because the car is quite spacious and i'm quite surprised on how long it is the car even if you don't have a flat floor here you have plenty of space here to carry different items and different stuff so yeah what do you think about it pretty pretty spacious opening the door on this area the good part is that the door is opening also with this window that allow you to have a better visibility and also bigger entrance from the side so in this way you have much more space also you can put the seat belt on the side you can see a little bit better now the space is quite good look at this super super space and also the quality here is great and down on the legs you still have some storage space to carry different items if you want to put it back you have to take the seat belt like that and then just push it back and i want to show you something after i push it back and also this is armrest let me push it back i want to show you the fact that here in the middle you can also open this and carry long items and in the same time have two passengers in the back cool right very useful stuff and then you have this armrest with two cup holders, leather armrest, very good quality. So Peugeot makes super good quality cars in the, in the last years. I really like what they did. And then you close it, so nice. Now going here on the door, this is the frameless windows the quality. Even on the back here, you have soft material in this area. You have focal speaker and they are also kind of a nice gray uh, chrome design in this area. Then you have also some chrome here, some nice carbon fiber effect in this area. Then you have leather, leather stitches, the button, and then you have another speaker in some storage space. Entrance pretty big, check this out. And I wanna adjust the seats in my driving position in order to give you the best information about the space. So I have to adjust it a little bit. They have manual adjustments that need a little bit of time because you have that wheel to rotate. It's not as simple uh, as on other 
cars, but now this is my driving position. And now we can make an idea on how much space we have in the back. So let me go here in the back. But before I go in the back, let me show you the seats. You have Isofix, you can install two child seats. You have leather, you have those stitches with brown, uh, brown stitches. You have side support, and it's a nice combination of Alcantara in the middle, and then leather on the side. So it's pretty, pretty nice. Also, uh, behind the front seat, you have some rubber and some storage space. And in the middle here, we have those vents, two vents. And down there, let me show you, you have, that, I don't know if you can go there. It's a little bit tighter, but you can see the USB ports. So you have two USB, two ports down there. Quite useful. Closing the door and this is the space in the back. I mean, because it's that coupe shape and because they want to allow you to open the trunk and also have a better aerodynamic, you have less space on the head. I'm 173 centimeters and I have like four fingers over my head. It's pretty fine. Then you have also an LED here, a hook, black roof, and it's also have this interesting design here. And then it comes with a panoramic glass roof that you can open it electrically and close it also electrically. Uh, in terms of visibility outside, it's gorgeous because they extend this window here. You have very good visibility outside from my point of view, super good. And yeah, the position is nice, it's comfortable. And this is the space behind myself. I have more than enough space, 173 centimeters and down there, stretch a little bit the legs. I don't want to make dirty the car, so I will protect it with this paper. But in general, super, super spacious. Now, if I want to go in the middle, you have a transmission tunnel that's like maybe 10 centimeters and you have some storage space on your knees here a little bit. And here I'm like maybe three fingers over my head, three and a half, uh, but it's quite fine. It's a little bit higher and also a little bit stiffer down here, stiffer on my back. If I stretch my hand completely, it's fine. Stretch my hand completely, almost completely, uh, it's fine. I think for free people, you will be okay. But here in the middle, not so fun. Maybe short trips will be okay, but long trips, no work. Now we will go in the front and we will talk about the dashboard and the multimedia and the cockpit. I will show you in a second. But first of all, talking a little bit about the dashboard and the design, it looks kind of similar with the previous version with some changes that I love. For example, the multimedia system screen from the middle, it's tilted to the driver, much more useful like that. Steering wheel is the same. Uh, center console a little bit different but look very futuristic very nice and everything there it's super super good quality and it looks really i mean peugeot was the first company that brings some futuristic dashboards and design to the car and they were they were really interesting in the beginning and now they start to grow and grow more and more and they bring uh, such a good uh, quality cars anyway let's go in the front to talk about those things there here we have frameless windows also in the front from one piece that means you have good visibility uh, good quality also on the upper side the same uh, carbon fiber fake effect and then you have the speaker uh, here you have the handle handle feels super good quality leather here leather here and then you have the button for the windows electric adjustable mirror some storage space this is the speaker peugeot writing on the plate nice plate here aluminum pedals the same pedals that they use super nice and then you have manual adjustable seats here uh, only the lumbar position it's electric adjustable and also this position here this area here up and down you can adjust it electrically from here super simple like that what i was impressed to see on the car is the fact that in this area you have stuff material here so there's no plastic here and also here it's optional you saw that in the beginning because the car it have a wireless charging right there under the center console then you have leather here super good quality and also those seats are super super high quality the same leather side support alcantara in the middle super good quality look at them kind of in the same same design as they used uh, to have on the other models as well here we have the button for opening the tank here's the lane assist open the trunk and then schedule the climatic system and then here we have this soft carbon fiber effect the vents uh, right here feel great and also up here you have some uh, 
I think it's a plastic, but it's a nice quality plastic. And then you have the steering wheel. Anyway, let me go inside and let me start the engine, press the brake, start the engine. Right now the system it's on, by the way, the visibility around the window, it's great. Even though the A pillar, it's a little bit lower. You feel like you are in a sporty car. You feel like you're driving a super sporty car with this A pillar that's kind of following behind. That's to improve the aerodynamic of the car. And this is great because you will have a very good consumption and I like it. The visibility, it's very, very good and really interesting how they design everything. It's around the driver, the visibility here on the screen, it's nice. You have physical button to go in different shortcuts on the screen, physical button for electronic handbrake. You have this new shift by wire transmission. From here you change the gear, super simple. Reverse, B come from regenerative brake. So if you wanna regenerate more energy, you just press the B and then the car when you release the acceleration will regenerate more energy. You have start stop system and you have driving mode. You have a few driving modes, sport, hybrid, comfort and electric mode. So it's great that you can choose between those uh, driving modes. So depending on um, how you drive and in which driving mode you are, the car will react accordingly. You can adjust the steering wheel up, down, forward, down, depend how you want it from down here manually. And you have this GT steering wheel, super nice steering wheel from my point of view, great grip, great size, super small. You have those pedals to change the gear manually. If you want to have some fun with the car, you can do this as well. Then you have the stalk for the light. You have another stalk here. I think you saw it now, you see it, it's for the cruise control and adaptive cruise control and autopilot. This is cool uh, and simple. You have physical button here for volume and voice command. And here you have also for telephone and radio. If you wanna see the, this is the, the eye cockpit and there you can customize and see different information like personal minimum energy dials and driving. If you go to driving, you will see that in the middle, it shows you all that autopilot stuff. The screen, it's great, by the way. I love the screen, it's big, it's nice. Uh, the, the resolution and the brightness is there, really cool. You have the navigation in the middle as well. Uh, and the great part is that it shows you the whole map. Then you have the personal information with, of course, you have all that consumptions. And then you have also the minimum. If you don't want to see too many things in the nighttime, for example, you still can see some information in the middle. You can have the energy. You can see what happened with the energy, when it charged the battery, when it used the petrol engine, um, and so on. And then you can see the dials, just like that. And then here it shows you when it's charged, when it's need power and stuff like that. Really, really cool screen. Uh, it's no much different than the other new models, but uh, it's great that they bring it also on 508. And what I'm super happy to see here is this new multimedia system that Peugeot bring it on 508. And until now we have that old age all ages uh, multimedia system this time we have a super nice multimedia system it's the same multimedia system that they use on the new 308 new e 208 and so on this is super nice this multimedia is great you can use it as a touch screen and you can go through different settings for example here you have the navigation and it works much, much better than before. It used the TomTom Tom navigation system and it's much more responsive and much better map than was before on Peugeot. So you can see, for example, if you wanna go to a certain destination. Oh, I wanna show you something before. Let me see if it works. I don't wanna peel off this protection, otherwise, they will kill me probably. <laughs> I will leave it right here, but keep in mind, this red thing is because of that protection, but I don't want to take it out. But keep in mind, if you go a little bit farther, let's see, let's, let's drive here. You can see how fast it's loading. It's a much better hardware and processor behind this multimedia system. And it gives you also some route to change, to choose from, and then you can activate and you can press drive and it will drive directly there. So it's a very, very good navigation system. I really like what they bring. You have 4G connectivity to the internet through this multimedia system. 
it's great that you have down here some shortcuts for heated seats you heated windshield destination at 328 come on shut up and then you have this button it's for heated windshield you see this on the windshield you see those lines here on the side on the both side and also here in this area that means when you press this button the windscreen will uh, defrost in the winter if you have a frosty uh, window you can do it super easy like that and it's super super useful and then you have heated seats and all that shortcuts for the climatic system and not only that you have also the wheel and you have also here all the shortcuts from the multimedia screen you don't have to go in touch uh, use the touch you go to home very simple you just press this one and you are go to home you can customize these uh, screens you can choose whatever things you want to see on every single page and that's so so useful then you have the climatic system you go directly here you turn on the climatic system you choose the position you choose the speed you choose the vents however you want you can go to air quality and you can turn on the air quality and it has an extra purifier filter inside the car so you, you get an extra air inside extra quality air filtration and then precondition you can precondition the car you can use also the application but you can use it and you can precondition it also from here from the car now let me stop the climatic system you can go here to the apps and once you press this it goes to all the apps of the car and the good part is that you probably saw on my videos on, on the new Peugeot it comes also with games this is a new trend these days all the car manufacturers come with games it doesn't work right now because you need the 4G connectivity you need to be connected to the internet but once it works yeah now it's work uh, you have tic-tac-toe you have hangman and you have this game 40 20 48 really interesting when you are get bored you can use those games and you can play on games and also here on the application you have all the apps of the car you have the others where you have all the settings of the car like lane keeping assist you have all the functions like traction control speed limit recognition blind spot alert driver attention alert you have tutorials shortcuts all that stuff you can go back to here you have climatic date and time the energy screen where you can see whatever whatever happened with the energy in the car you have statistics with consumption you have charging information and schedule you have e-save you can save for later the energy and so on great stuff the same as on other versions then you have the media mirror screen of course you can mirror your screen you can connect wireless iphone or android phone so if you go back we have like navigation settings and then we have the settings telephone and settings here where if you go to the settings you have all the settings of the car like display customization you can customize not only the display but you can customize the cockpit so you can choose from here whichever things you want to have it there and also you can customize the pages that you want to have it on the home you can choose to have more or less then you have screen color you can choose the color of the screen if you don't like blue you can make it green it looks also cool and then you have the active sport sound this is sound really interesting when you drive in sport mode it sounds much more aggressive in the speakers then you have connectivity and then you have the system with the language uh, kilometer miles celsius fahrenheit all that stuff the brightness here on the brightness we have the cockpit brightness i can make it brighter uh, it looks much interesting and the interior light i can put it on seven interior light it's around here in this area on the door and also behind the the dashboard here are also the vents uh, then you have the button for the hazard light and then in the back you have focal speaker there super cool and very nice i like the fact that it's quite straight and it's soft material here everything it's it's cool it's really nice array for the driver it feels super interesting audio we have the settings from audio system all that settings you can adjust it from here voice assist vehicle settings vehicle lights adaptive lights and automatic main bin and guide me home lights vehicle access like doors and stuff like that boot only unlock super nice and then you have updates and connective service and then if you go forward here to the car it shows you all that settings of the car here's the telephone the media and the last one it's the the settings 
and then go back to home. And this is how simple it is. And also on the home screen, uh, you can find all the application of the car. So you can go to application drawer. Yeah, let me start the car one more time because it doesn't have energy anymore. So I don't wanna kill the battery. Now here you have the settings and then on the settings you have all the settings and then you can customize and you can choose whatever things you want to have it also here and then you have also this interesting graphic that shows you what happened with the car and so on the, the map the radio and all that stuff super cool and that's it guys i hope you understand what i mean about those things a little bit higher by the way it's the mirror the mirror it's nice the visibility in the back it's okay it's not the best but it's it's fine i mean for a sedan car it's okay but i like very much the tiny edges of the mirror a little bit higher here you have some led lights in the interior so you can use the touch to turn it on and off and here you have also the possibility to open and close the glass roof and you have sos buttons and info button and here we have this beautiful mirror with two led lights that they look super cool the quality on the roof it's also very good in this area it's a little bit different but here it's super super good quality anyway that was the video guys i'm a little bit tired because i film all day today a lot of cars and it's a little bit late and i hope i managed to give you some useful information and i hope you get some useful information about the car about this new peugeot 508 as soon as i get it outside for a test drive proper review i will do it again so if you are still have question ask me down below i will be happy to to give you all the information if you want to buy the car see the car test drive the car check out neo motors i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice they will help you with everything so check them out great car from my point of view it's a great car to take into consideration if you are on the market for a car in this class that was all thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe thanks a lot guys see you soon in the next one bye